guys welcome back okay so many of you might already know that I did start a series where I'm going through all of my makeup collection but I'm not doing it by product I'm doing it by color so today <laughs> As you can see, it's purple day. So basically, I grabbed all of my palettes that when I look at them, I think purple for the most part. It might have, you know, other shades, other color stories mixed in with the purple. But when I think about these palettes, it makes me think of purple. So I kind of threw in mauves as well with this purple video because I don't have a lot of palettes that are just mauve palettes so I figured I'd just throw in the mauves along with the purples so I have a lot of palettes to go through <laughs> and you would think it's a palette collection but no I'm going to show you my other purple makeup items as well but it's a lot of palettes of course because you guys know I'm a palette freak so let's just get started I want to start off with showing you guys this is a <laughs> A magnetic palette for singles that I just created recently because I just started like this little depotting frenzy but I already had a lot of single shadow a lot of single shadows as well prior to me starting to pot so this is just a crazy combination of singles different shades of purple I threw in a couple of blues in here just because you know for my own sanity I needed to add some dimension to this palette but it's just a combination of a lot of different single shadows that I have in here that are in the purple family to me or some shadows that I would like to use if I just pick up this palette to do a purple eye look which I actually did today <laughs> um, you know that I could just pick this up and use this palette so anyways just wanted to show you guys this this is something I'm working on I'm still in the process of kind of color coordinating all of my single shadows that I'm either depotting or that I got purchased as singles so that is that okay next I have here a morphe palette this is the morphe and put on my glasses okay okay so I got my glasses so first off this is the morphe 39 s so it's one of their rather large palettes as you can see let me just show you what this looks like on the inside and this palette although it is very purple based it does have some beautiful kind of pinks and burgundy shades in here as well to kind of help you to create different types of looks but as you can see this palette is very very purple heavy it's absolutely gorgeous I really really like this palette it does it creates a beautiful purple or wine colored eye look very very nice and it has a lot of different textures here in the center as well like topper shades very very pretty so I do like this palette this palette is rather large though so it's kind of inconvenient okay so next here I have another morphe palette this one is the 35p <laughs> 35p for purple and this is what this palette looks like so this is a very very cool tone palette as you can see beautiful purples in there a lot of browns of course just like every other morphe palette but it's very cool tone i mean there's some you know kind of like burgundy shades in there but this palette just really really screams cool tone to me that's probably why i'm not drawn to it that much because i really really like warm tone shades but very pretty purple palette so this is the morphe 35p Okay, so next I have this palette from Lick and Lash Beauty. This is their Playful palette, and it, it's in this really light pink packaging. So it's a little bit confusing because it is a very bold, <laughs> colorful palette um, with beautiful pinks and purples. It also has blues and greens in here, but 
it has some really gorgeous purples so I just want to go ahead and pull this one out although it's not a completely purple palette there is a substantial amount of purples in this palette next I have here a palette from Babella Pro this is their maroon mayhem palette I've had this palette for quite a while. It's 30 shadows. I like the packaging. I mean, it has a glare, but I do like the fact that I can see the shadows through the packaging. But let me show you what this palette looks like. So it's a very kind of warm tone, purple and maroon based palette. So although there's not a lot of purple in here, it does have a lot of shades that kind of pull purple so when you create a look especially in this little area here you will definitely get a purple look to um, whatever you're doing so this palette here is kind of like a mauve purpley tone palette as well very very pretty with the gorgeous maroon tone to this palette now this palette here is the Natasha Denona this is the blue purple palette comes in this nice beautiful white packaging here but this is the palette that has a lot of blue and purple tones in it so very very pretty palette let me just show it to you guys as you can see gorgeous purple shades in here but you also have really really pretty cool tone blues and grays as well so um, this palette is very nice it creates a beautiful eye look there's some really pretty purples in here that I can use if I ever want to go to this palette okay next here I have my Violet Voss Pro this is the hashtag palette and this palette has kind of like a sunset color story but the bottom row are beautiful beautiful purple shades so although there are a lot of you know kind of warmer orange orangey shades in here this bottom row down here mm, beautiful beautiful purple purple shades purple look can be created with that so I definitely think of purple <laughs> when I think of this palette okay next I have here my LA girl hot hot heat this one is actually the vacay everyday eyeshadow palette beautiful colors in here okay beautiful mauvey purpley toned palette the browns that are in here really complement the purple shades as well so this palette very very pretty and it definitely creates a purple eye look <laughs> so next I have one of my absolute favorite purple eyeshadow palettes from my collection this is the pretty poison palette from bad habit I love everything about this palette from the packaging to the layout to the shadows and the textures that are in here this palette is just so pretty to me you can create a lot of different variations of eye looks with this palette from deep deep purple to light purpley pink it's just really really pretty and I really like this palette okay next I have here a drugstore palette this is the Maybelline soda pop palette I was just looking at this palette recently um, because I was doing a declutter of my drugstore palettes so this palette although it's not like crazy purple you definitely get a feel of creating a purple look when you pick up this palette because this shade here and this shade here definitely will give you you know a purpley eye look and the rest are just kind of like warm tone um, basic shades and this cool tone dark brown over here so yeah I definitely would say this is a kind of purple themed palette and the packaging makes you think <laughs> of a purple palette as well now this palette here is a newer palette from elf um, I don't have the box for this anymore <laughs> and it doesn't have the name um this teeny tiny writing on here it doesn't have the name of this i think this is part of like the hot chocolate collection or something like that and this is what it looks like hopefully let me open it up and see if i can get it to focus it's too much shimmer going on but 
yeah this is a newer palette that I have from elf I haven't tried it out yet it is kind of like a maroon purple feeling palette um I don't know I don't know how this is going to perform but I am definitely going to try this out and you know create I guess a maroony purple type look with this palette okay this is another palette that I have that's kind of like part of my purple and maroon themed collection this is the colored rain and power collab palette now just you know at first glance of course it doesn't look like ooh a purple palette but I definitely would grab this to create a purple look and it's because this shade here is just absolutely gorgeous for bringing in that dramatic purple look this shade down here is gorgeous as well and this shade up here it just they all come together to create just the most amazing beautiful maroon and purple type looks um, I do have a video comparing this palette to the ColourPop it's my pleasure palette and that was a pretty pretty fun comparison to do they both created a gorgeous purple eye look so if you want to see that I will link it make sure you check it out but this palette is bomb okay it is so bomb I don't even know if, if they're still selling it I would highly recommend this palette okay next I have a palette that was gifted to me from my girl Lily this is the Lime Crime Venus 3 Ugh. This palette is really, really pretty. This is what the packaging looks like if you've never seen it before. But, oh my gosh, this palette is so stinking pretty. The purples in here are just absolutely gorgeous. I really, really like this palette. Okay, next I have this Too Faced palette. This is the Razzle Dazzle Berry palette. Very, very pretty. I picked this up not too long ago during one of the Too Faced, or no, one of the Ulta sales and I haven't used it yet I have swatched it several times <laughs> but yeah these um, shades in here are gorgeous and this dark this purple down here and this dark kind of blurple shade very very pretty um, but you can also create just a basic like pink look or a look with this shade here absolutely gorgeous you only get uh, really these two these two shades right here are your mattes so you don't have too too much to play around with in this palette and yeah i definitely think of purple <laughs> when thinking about this palette but you can create a nice kind of maroony type look as well next i have the color pop bye bye birdie palette i did do an extensive video comparing this palette to a lot of my other purple palettes <laughs> So, you know, I'm very, very familiar with this palette. Gorgeous, absolutely beautiful palette. It performs very nicely as well, but really, really pretty purple and kind of maroony tones in here. And just going through my purple palette collection, I'm noticing that a lot of the purple color stories are mixed in with maroons burgundies shades like that because they do go so well together okay so next i have here a palette from beauty glazed this is the jupiter palette very pretty packaging and this is what the color scheme is in this palette as you can see once again pretty purples and burgundies mixed together but will definitely create a beautiful purple eye look and I still have yet to try this out. <laughs> have yet to try it out. Now here we are with the ColourPop It's My Pleasure palette. I was just talking about this when I was talking about the um, Power palette and how I compared the two. But this is what the ColourPop It's My Pleasure looks like. Now this palette, you guys, bomb.com, okay? absolutely gorgeous the quality on this really really nice okay ColourPop really did a good job with this palette next I have here one of my beauty crop palettes this is the sangria palette it's very reflective so there's a lot of shining going on here 
but this is my Sangria palette from Beauty Crop. And this is what she looks like on the inside. Very, very pretty. I think this is one of the palettes from them that I have not used yet in my collection. But as you can see, it's very, very reminiscent of like the Power and the ColourPop palette with that kind of blue, purple tone going on in there. Very, very pretty. So, yeah, this is gorgeous. You know what? Let me swatch this just a little bit. Yeah, these, I mean, me and uh, Beauty Crop kind of have like a love-hate relationship <laughs> when it comes to some of their shadows. But some of them, you know, are really pretty. And then other ones, I'm kind of like, eh. But this one looks pretty nicely pigmented, so. Yeah, it's pretty. Now this is a newer palette to my collection that I wouldn't necessarily say like, oh, it's a purple palette. This is one of the Huda Beauty Neon palettes. And for the life of me, I cannot find the names for these palettes. <laughs> um, yeah, I, but y'all know I'm blind anyway, so I ain't gonna stress myself over it. But this is one of the new Neon palettes. And I noticed that this one does have like some lavender or kind of purple tone shades in it so i know when i create a look with this it will pull like pinky purple depending on what type of shadows i use so i just wanted to throw this in here just because of the fact that it does have those kind of lavender and purple shades in there and I would definitely use you know some of those purple tone lavender tone shadows when creating a look with this palette so yeah I just want to throw that in there the packaging is a little bit kind of deceiving as far as the fact that there is purple in here because it's just like orange so very pretty okay next here I have a palette from certify this is the affinity palette this palette is so pretty, you guys. This is what the packaging looks like. I don't know if you can see that. Very, very pretty. On the back, it has like this colorful heart. But this is what the palette looks like on the inside. So as you can see, it has that same familiar kind of sunset type vibe to it. But it does have these gorgeous purple shades down here. Um, mixed in you know with the burgundy and the lavender shades but yeah this is definitely a very nice palette to go to for a beautiful purple eye look as well okay so next I have one of my newest and one of my newest favorite palettes <laughs> this is the Alma palette from Amy Hart's Beauty her collab palette with Amy Loves Makeup. So this is Amy's Alma palette. Now I did do two videos on this palette. So you guys, <laughs> if you're regular viewers of mine, you're probably very, very familiar with this palette already. But yeah, this palette is so pretty. And although it's not completely purple, you do get your pinks and your blues in here to kind of mix it up. It definitely creates an absolutely gorgeous purple eye look. If you haven't seen my video, please check it out. It is the purpliest purple eye look <laughs> probably that I've ever done. But yeah, this palette is absolutely gorgeous. She did sell out and I believe, I don't know if, if it's not in pre-order status right now, that it is coming back so you can get this palette. But yeah, this palette is beautiful and I would definitely grab it to create a purple eye look. It has just the most gorgeous like duochrome shades in here. Very pretty. Next, I have a palette that I tried out from Amazon. This is from a company called Affion. And so that's what the packaging looks like. <laughs> it's really pink packaging, even though it's a very, very purple palette. But I think it's kind of cool because um, it's like a mix between pink and lavender, actually. But it adds a very nice contrast to these shadows in here. You guys, this is a very nice, affordable purple palette 
beautiful maroons purples and pinks in here there's even pressed glitter if you like that but this palette was like only 10 bucks on amazon so if you're looking for a really nice good inexpensive purple palette this is a good one to choose very very nice palette okay so we just talked about a very nice affordable palette um let's go ahead and talk about a very nice expensive palette <laughs> This is the ABH Norvina Volume. What is this? Volume 1? Yeah, this has to be Volume 1 because I about died when I got this palette. So, yeah, this is the Norvina Volume 1 from her collection. And, of course, everybody is familiar with what this palette looks like. Sorry about the glare. But yeah, there are some really gorgeous purple shades in this palette. She did add some other pops of color, which is very nice because you can create several different eye looks with this palette. But it is very purple heavy, like the whole first two and a half rows is kind of like get your purple on. So yeah, very, very nice purple palette. Not cheap. <laughs> not cheap at all but it's a nice palette to have okay let's talk about a few mauve type palettes just to break it up a little bit um and i have some smaller ones this is from huda beauty this is her mauve obsessions palette this is what it looks like when i first tried this palette out i, I wasn't that impressed by it wasn't that excited by it um Although, when looking at this palette, it looks very burgundy heavy. When I created my look, it looked very purpley mauve, which was really confusing to me because <laughs> I'm like, okay, these shadows have something in them that definitely pull mauve purple, even though it looks like you're going to get a straight up burgundy eye look. It's definitely a mauve palette. So, it's it's okay it's not bad it's okay but i don't know if i really ever reach for this okay so next i have this huda beauty nude rich palette Let's see if i can get that to focus i mean the packaging on these palettes is just crazy it's so pretty but the colors in here are gorgeous as well it's so confusing because it's like nude that's not nude but honey this is the new nude okay <laughs> and it is really really pretty and like i said when you look at these palettes you don't necessarily think um it's gonna pull that kind of mauvey purpley look but it does just <laughs> it does when i do my look it it looks mauve purple so these palettes are very confusing to me but the shadows in these palettes definitely have some like mauve purpley tones to them so very nice i really like this palette two other small mauve tone palettes that i really like i just talked about these in my um drugstore palette declutter because i said i'm not decluttering these this is the NYX Lingerie and the NYX Cosmic Metals palettes. These are what they look like. So once again, looking at them, <laughs> you know, you wouldn't think you would get that kind of mauve purpley pull to them, but you definitely do. Um, very, very pretty. I did do an eye look with these as well. It was quite a while ago, a long time ago, but if I can find it, I'll go ahead and link it. But yeah, the reason why I really, really am just like, I will never get rid of these <laughs> until I absolutely have to is because this is one of the best NYX formulas that I've ever used. Like I said before in my other video, I've used NYX palettes that the formula is not that great. But these two palettes, NYX formula is bomb in these two palettes. Very, very nice. It's like high quality shadows. Okay, next for another mauve palette, I have the Huda Beauty Nude. <laughs> the Huda Beauty New Nude, okay. This is what the packaging looks like. And this is what the inside of this palette looks like. Very, very nice. Very pretty, mauve toned palette. I mean... The standout for this palette is the Shimmers, of course, 
Um, you know, this palette is not new by any means. It's been out for quite a while. But the shimmers are just like, uh, let me see if I can show you some of these. The shimmers are really, really pretty. You can see there, they're just, they're absolutely gorgeous. So, those shimmers are just so pretty. Okay, next I have another palette here that I have not even used. I bought this whole collection and I only used one of the palettes. <laughs> and yeah, I really, really need to use these palettes. This is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill part of her vault collection. And this one is the Bling Boss palette. So once again, it's not, you know, just a completely purple palette, but that huge purple shadow in there <laughs> will kind of make everything pull in that purple direction. It does have the beautiful like mauve burgundy shades in here to play around with as well. But yeah, when I think of this palette, I definitely think, okay, I'm going to obviously use that blurple, <laughs> that blue purple shade in there which is going to you know create more of a purple type eye look so yeah i have not used it yet but i really want to i really do i just need to pull it out so i'll remember to use it next ace beauté paradise fallen this used to be like my favorite purple palette until i actually got the color rain and power the color pop it's my pleasure like some other palettes kind of knocked this one down a few notches even though it's still one of my favorites because there's some absolutely beautiful purples and blue purples in here just really really nice this is a really good palette of course very easy purple look <laughs> you can get from this absolutely beautiful but yeah i would actually grab the colored rain and power collection palette before i grab this one i think because although the shadows are very very nice some of them can feel a little bit gritty a little bit dry so i still love this palette it's just not my favorite anymore okay next i have here <laughs> This is the I Love Revolution Violet. I used this palette one time, I think when I did the video for it. Have not grabbed this palette since. I'm, I'm not really drawn to the Revolution chocolate bar dupe type palettes. I mean, they're cute, but they just, they don't draw me in. But this palette does have some beautiful purple shades in it. Okay, it's plastic, is in the way. Some beautiful purple shades in here. And you do get a lot of other colors to kind of help you to create, you know, different looks. Yeah, but it just, it doesn't, it doesn't feel that great. It really doesn't. I don't know if you can see those swatches. They're just okay. You know, it just, it doesn't feel amazing. <laughs> you know, it's definitely your standard revolution formula. So... I have so many other palettes that I like better than this. This is actually in my declutter bin. I actually took this out of my declutter bin <laughs> to show you guys. So yeah, that's going to be gone pretty soon. Okay, so next I have this Dawn Gazing palette from Beauty Crop. Uh, their reflective packaging. It's really pretty, but it's just it's not good for camera work. <laughs> but yeah, this is their Dawn Gazing palette. It actually looks kind of similar to their sangria palette so this one has that kind of mauve you know look to it more so mauve burgundy more so than purple but yeah it's let me compare it to this sangria a little bit so they look very similar but the sangria does have the darker blue um shades in there so yeah the um the Dawn Gazing palette is on the bottom and the Sangria is on the top. So yeah, the Sangria definitely has more of that mauve purple feel to it. Whereas the Dawn Gazing just has kind of a mauve burgundy feel to it. So they're similar, but yeah, they're definitely, definitely different. Okay, so next, of course, I have to <laughs> show you guys my ABH Norvina palette. 
this was the first Norvina palette that she came out with. Um, and this is what it looks like. I never have been drawn to this palette. I'm still not. Every time I look at it, I'm not drawn to it at all. It's just so muted to me. But I know that the shimmers are amazing because I have swatched them. <laughs> swatched them in awe. Um, they are absolutely amazing. But this palette is just, it's, it's too muted for my liking for me to ever be drawn to this. So... I basically just have it because I'm an ABH collector. I don't know if I'll ever do a look with this palette because it is so muted. It's like, can I get a dark crease color, please? Okay, and also from ABH, I have to do this honorable mention. It's not a purple palette, of course, but the Jackie Ina palette. Okay, this palette has some gorgeous colors in here some of which are purple so yeah this palette is definitely getting an honorable mention here because of the fact that the purples in here are bomb <laughs> absolutely bomb okay and this palette is is really really nice this is a very nice palette i need to play in here some more these colors are just so so pretty but yeah it's not a purple palette but the purples in here definitely warrant a mention okay now I have a couple of beautiful purple tone palettes that I have here from Unique Beauty I have a couple more of these status quo um five pan palettes hopefully I'm not blinding you guys but yeah I got these palettes from Unique Beauty found them on Instagram and just decided to order a few of their palettes they were on sale for like four or five bucks and they are so so pretty and they swatch like so pretty but these are two come on these are two of the palettes that I got from them both of which have you know purple tones purple vibes the one on the top of course is more purple than the one on the bottom but they both give me that purple feel and they're so so pretty let me just do a couple of swatches from this palette for you guys very very pretty so so pretty okay so now that i've gotten through all of my palettes that i would consider basically purple themed palettes or you know if I think of doing a purple look I will grab one of those 50 palettes <laughs> these palettes I think deserve honorable mention because either they have amazing purples in them or they just deserve honorable mention okay this one here is the exotic peacock from pinky rose okay this is what the palette looks like if you've never seen it before really pretty pretty packaging this is what it looks like on the inside so if you love blues and greens this palette is just like uh it's a dream for you but these purples in here these two purples honey chow absolutely gorgeous and definitely deserve an honorable mention because the purples in here would draw me in if i opened this palette i would definitely be drawn to use the purples in here next i have the maelstrom palette from delancey once again not a purple palette look at this packaging packaging super duper pretty and i did do an eye look with this palette but this is what she looks like on the inside the purple in here absolutely gorgeous definitely deserves honorable mention they're just really really pretty purple shades in there gorgeous another honorable mention the warrior three by juvia's gorgeous packaging of course not a purple palette but this purple right here baby <laughs> this purple oh and it's so smooth this purple is very very nice okay so yeah had to mention this because i would definitely grab this just to use that one purple in there 
And last but not least for my palettes, mind you, this video is going to be mad long because I haven't even gotten to my other beauty products that are purple. But last but not least for palettes, just in case that's the only thing you're here for, I wanted to mention this 35M. This is the Morphe Artistry Palette Boss Mood. Um... This is one of my favorite Morphe palettes. I don't know. Morphe was on something special when they created these palettes. This one here. Let me see if I can get the glare off. Okay. This one here, baby. The greens and purples and oranges in here are just crazy. So this purple section <laughs> over here. Very, very nice purples in here. I mean, they're gorgeous. Let me just try and get a little swatch of a little swatch of roux, okay? And hopefully you can see those, but yeah, they're really, really pretty. It's so hard swatching and holding stuff up and trying to look at the camera and <laughs> make sure you're in focus on the monitor. It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous okay so now let's quickly just run through my non palette purple makeup items that I have in my collection funny enough I only have like <laughs> one place that I go to when I want like a real purple blush not like a maroony blush or a burgundy purpley blush but a real true purple blush I pick up this blush 2 palette from Coastal Scents. It's just in their standard black packaging. But this is the palette I go to when I want just a straight up purple blush. Of course, <laughs> it's this one right here. So that is my only straight up purple blush that I can use if I just want it to be purple. Okay, for highlighter. I have just a few highlighters <laughs> this one of course everybody knows wet and wild has every color highlighter this one is royal calyx I honestly do not know what that means so this is what the packaging looks like for the wet and wild highlighters and this is what <laughs> the highlighter itself looks like so this one it kind of has like that blue purple pull to it so yeah, if I'm just feeling wild and crazy and I want to have a highlighter that has a little bit of a purple feel to it, I will use this. And this is what it looks like. So you see it has kind of like that lavender, lavender feel to it. Also for highlight, if I want to have something that has a purple hint to it, I go to my Face Candy palettes. This is a Mermaid Glow. And this one is very, very icy. But there are two in here that kind of pull purple. So it's this one up here and this one down here. Especially this one down here really pulls purple, as you can see. So, so pretty. Gorgeous inner corner highlight um, shadows. You know, even though they're supposed to be highlighters, I definitely use these for inner corner pops. So let's move into some fun stuff. This is one of my J-Cat Holographic 3D Eye Toppers. And this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that, but it's very, very pretty. Come on, focus. There we go. Very, very pretty. And let me just swatch this for you because it's gorgeous. It's like 3D Holographic has kind of like a lavender shift to it. Very, very pretty. Next, I have here another one of my J-Cat 3D Holographic Toppers. This is Unicorn Hype. <laughs> yeah, let's see what this one looks like. Oh, it looks very similar, but... Yeah, I should have left the other one swatched just to see the difference. But this one is really, really pretty. Very, very pretty. Next, I have here an eye light from BH Cosmetics, and this one, I can't see the name on here. Ah, yeah, I can't see the name. If I can figure it out, I'll put it on the screen, but let me swatch this one for you guys because this is so pretty. Ah, so this is what that one looks like. 
Next, I have a couple of like liquid glitters. I have this one here, which is a really pretty, just lavender shade um, glitter eyeliner that I got from AliExpress. This is another one of my Revlon Photo Ready Eye Arts. The, you know, it's like the double ended eyeshadow. So it has the metallic on one side and it has the glitter on the other one. Really, really pretty. I have a couple of these like cream eyeshadows. This is a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. This one is in the color Lace. And this is what it looks like. So it's kind of like a blue purple. Let me swatch this for you. Make sure it gets on. I've had this for quite a while, so who knows? But it's still really pretty. Still really pretty. This one here is from Foera and it's called Province. And this is one of the ones that I got from AliExpress. So it's really pretty, a little bit lighter. And this is another one from Foera called Movie. And this one has kind of like the purpley, you know, burgundy type shade. And so that's the color on that. Very, very pretty. Now I also have a couple of loose pigments from Foera. This one is a purple one. I don't know if this has a name. It's number 307. It's a shimmer pigment eyeshadow. But this is what they look like. They just come in this little glass jar type packaging. And you can kind of see the color on the bottom there. And let me just show you. And this one looks like it has a little bit of a shift to it. So it kind of looks like a blue purple. You see that? Gorgeous. Ah, so pretty. That's the kind of stuff that just like takes your eye look to the next level. <laughs> so pretty. And then I have a couple more of these kind of duochrome type shadows here that I got from AliExpress and one of them they're both purple but one of them pulls kind of blue and one pulls kind of teal so it just kind of depends on the lighting you know whether or not you can even see um, what's supposed to be going on but hopefully I don't spill this but you can see in this one it has kind of like that purpley blue uh, look to it so so pretty so let me swatch a little bit of this one. Oh, see, you see how much of that turquoise or teal that you can see in there with it being swatched, but it definitely has like blues and purples in there. Oh, it's so pretty. I love, love, love these shadows. They're so gorgeous. I have one on my eyelids today. I don't know if you guys can see it <laughs> with my glasses on, but yeah, I have one of those on my lids today. And this is the other one. So you can see, oh my gosh, I think this is the one I have on today. Beautiful blue and purple. Oh, so gorgeous. And let me swatch a little bit of this one. Yeah. So this is one that has a lot of blue, but it does have a purple base to it. I don't know if you can see that so so pretty yeah i think that's the one that i have on today okay so i'm just going to show you guys my glitters of course i'm not going to swatch them this is a jcat glitter and it's just a really pretty purple i don't even know if this has oh it says royal highness so the color for this one is royal highness <laughs> if you can see that super super pretty purple glitter these are a couple of shades I got from GlitterMyWorld.com. So this one is Luscious Lavender. And this one is Purple Moon. Now I do have quite a few purple eyeliners that I do like to use when I'm doing my eye looks. So I'll just kind of swatch a few for you. This is the Wet n Wild um, Idolize. Ah, uh, what shade is this? I've had this for so long. I don't even think 
that they sell this anymore. This is number 133. That's what she looks like. And let me just swatch her. She's kind of like holographic, a little bit. Yeah, she's a little bit holographic. Very, very pretty. But I've had this forever. So honestly, it probably needs to go in the trash. But it's so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it's so pretty it's so pretty that I still use it this one is the NYX um, 618 purple one of their you know jumbo pencils so let me swatch this one this one is really pretty as well it's a little bit darker though than the wet and wild but the color is absolutely gorgeous this is one that I actually got from Beautycon this one is from pop beauty and it's kind of like it's inky purple did i get this from beauty con or did i get this in a box i don't know one of them i either got it from beauty con or i got it in one of my subscription boxes but yeah this one is from pop um what is it inky purple from pop beauty this one here from RK by Kiss, Perfect Precision, their purple liner. I use this all the time. I actually use this for my lips today. And it's a, a very dry formula. So it works well for the eyes as well as for the lips. But it is a very dry formula, but it does stay put. So that's this one here, RK by Kiss this one here is from la girl this is one of their new shockwave liners in the color vivid so this is what that looks like that is vivid this one here really really pretty this one here is one of the ColourPop green cream gel liners and i think it's piggy bank their names rub off so easily that i don't know but i think it's piggy bank so that is this one here. Very, very pretty. And the ColourPop liners, the ones that are in the solid color uh, packaging, very creamy, very smooth, easy to use. So as you can see, <laughs> you know, all purple liners are not made the same. I mean, just these six here, have such varying and different shades of purple it really creates different looks for your eyes or your lips or whatever they're very very different shades even though they're all purples they're gorgeous okay and last but not least <laughs> in this purple makeup collection video i have quite a few lipsticks this is nowhere near all of my purple lipsticks but i just grabbed a few that i felt like you guys might you know either be familiar with or um, are ones that I really really like so I'm gonna start off with this Fenty Beauty this one I can never remember the names I think this is this uncuffed unleashed unbothered what is this undefeated <laughs> anyways this is the Fenty um, you know beautiful plum shade lipstick I mean this is just a gorgeous gorgeous purple deep plummy purple and it's one of their lip paints so I'm not going to swatch all of these but that one is gorgeous this is a beautiful purple lipstick that I got yeah this probably needs to go in the trash too kiss new york professional egoism line this one is a sigh honey and it is a gorgeous purple shade it's like a blue purple shade let me show you this one because it really doesn't do it justice um this is what that lipstick looks like you see how blurple that is very very bold purple lipstick gorgeous this one here is from dose of colors this one is play it cool very very pretty a mauvey shade lipstick really really pretty um it's not a color that i would normally gravitate to because i mean it is a serious serious mauvey nude shade but very very pretty 
if you like that type of shade it's gorgeous this is one of my absolute favorite purple lipsticks this is the hard candy glitterazzi <laughs> i'm gonna swatch this one you guys have seen this on my lips if you watch me you know a lot <laughs> you've seen this on my lips it's the uh hard candy glitterazzi and it's like i'm i'm hard pressed not to put this on every single time i do a purple eye look it's a metallic purple lipstick so pretty this one here is from la girl this is one of their matte flat velvet lipsticks love triangle i'll just show it to you instead of swatching it but this is the color on that very very pretty you know what let me go ahead and swatch it why not that's what she looks like swatched it's like it has like a pinky purple mix to it very pretty this is a velvet matte lipstick from NYX the name on this is disorderly so that is what that looks like from NYX one of those blue purple <laughs> blurple type colors and it's it's a very dry dry feeling formula Let's see if I can get this to focus okay yeah so yeah, it's a very dry feeling formula. A couple of ColourPop lipsticks. This one is Hutch. So that's what Hutch looks like. Not really purple, but it kind of has like that burgundy pull to it. Next I have here from Maybelline. This is a vivid matte lipstick. <laughs> and it's in the color Wicked Berry. So as you can see, it's very, very blurple. It looks blue, but it's actually a purple. Ooh, yeah, very, very deep, very rich. Come on, yeah, looks kind of blue, but yeah, it's a really deep, dark purple. It's a blurple. Okay, this one is from Revolution called Liberty, one of their bullet lipsticks. Just a nice, soft, subtle matte shade not anything outrageous creamy matte and lastly i have one of my favorite holographic gloss toppers this is from la girl this one is so pretty i love this one what color is this flaming opal <laughs> flaming opal and i'm just gonna put a little bit of this on here so you can see this is what the gloss looks like so it is very shiny very holographic when you put it on it's going to make your lips glow but it does have a purple hue to it <laughs> so it is very very pretty and i love it it's gorgeous yeah i like it all over my lips okay you guys so that is it for my purple makeup collection i know that was a lot this is a long video i'm actually exhausted okay <laughs> but that's everything my purple eyeshadows lipsticks blushes highlighters lip glosses eyeliners eye toppers everything that i have that is purple well not all my lipsticks but you know what i mean so yeah that's it you guys hopefully you enjoyed <laughs> going through all of my purple items from my collection and I hope you're enjoying this series as well if you're still here at this point in the video thank you so much for watching the whole video and hanging out with me I really appreciate it so that's it you guys please don't forget to hit like subscribe and I will see you on the next one Toodles.